another opportunity to sit down with uh, a good friend of mine from Entrepreneurs Organization here in town, Matt Scarcelli with the Sandler Training in Albany, and Matt specializes in helping people with sales and customer service and management. Matt, thank you for coming uh, and sitting down and doing this. Thanks for the opportunity, John. Listen, I'm I'm thrilled anytime I get to spend with you because I feel like I get to be a better salesperson just by sitting with you. Flattery will get you everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) But you know what? In all seriousness, I'm very grateful. You sat down with me last year and you were able to help me just I couldn't see the forest for the trees at a particular point last year, and you made a comment to me, well, what, what is it you need to do? And I told you, and you said, oh, so you need two accounts. So, oh, right. Sometimes it's easy to forget when you're in business or you're in sales what it is that uh, is being able to step back. So tell me, what is Sandler all about? So Sandler is a pretty cool company. So it's an international company. And we focus on three different areas of training that you already talked about. So we're known in the Capital District for our sales training. We also have a management track, so that first level of management, we train those folks. And we also have a customer service track, so we train customer service teams. And usually when I get involved with a company, we're solving one of a few problems. So on the sales side, it could be that there's um, that their folks are really good at closing deals, but they're not good at prospecting, and there's not enough leads at the top of the funnel, which creates a lot of frustration. Or they're really good at getting the leads, but the sales cycles take two or three times longer than they should. Right. Makes the salesperson angry, the owner angry, nobody's happy. Or it could be that they do those two things really well, and they don't close business at all. Um, and they get a lot of the, get into good conversations with people, and then those folks disappear and end up in the witness protection program. <laughs> so those are the types of issues that we typically address when we get involved with the company. Now, I've had a few of those uh, relationships over the years. Uh, those witness protection. You at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's happened. So, you know, we do this. I always like to find one thing that uh, I can share from all the people I meet. Mm-hmm. One, one tip, one piece of advice. So if you're going to talk to a salesperson today, what is that one bit of advice you can give them today? Maybe help them close the deal. Come see me. No, just kidding. Well, not really. All right, so this is two tips. So tip number two. <laughs> tip number two is listen and ask questions. So as salespeople, we get bad names because... You know, actually, you, you probably witnessed this. You're around someone, they talk a lot, and they're very personable, and someone says, you'd make a great salesperson. A lot of times, the people that do all the talking are not the best salespeople. Right. The people who are the best salespeople are the ones that just shut up and listen. You know, you have two, two ears, one mouth for a reason. So can you be quiet, listen, and ask intelligent questions back to get your prospect engaged? Because we are in the business of gaining more information from our prospect than we are giving it out, at least to qualify them. So that one tip that I would give is just relax, listen, and ask good questions. That will get you on a different level than everybody else. That is the magic word for today. Listen. It is. That's right. So, I'm sorry, what you say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What a treat. Matt, how can somebody get hold of you? You can give me a call direct at 518-366-0004 or visit us. If you just Google Sandler Albany, our site will come up. Matt, what a treat. Pleasure, John. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good to see you, pal.